In India, our mother elephant has left the pond with the water hyacinths and moved with the group into some grasslands near the jungle. Adult elephants have no natural predators and only fear man and his weapons. But for a baby elephant, the jungles of India can hold some fearsome enemies, and mother elephants know that. Rhinoceroses are the only animals that come close to elephants in strength, although, barring an accident, they are normally quite harmless. But there is another animal, one that is smaller and lighter than a rhinoceros, that can easily kill a baby elephant. And this animal, hidden in the grass, can move as silently as a shadow. The Chitans grazing near the elephant family are much easier prey than baby pachyderms, so the mother elephants feel good having them around. For their part, the Chitals know that the elephants have an extraordinarily good sense of smell, and that from up high, they can spot a tiger before the deer can, so they also seek out the company of the herd. Sure of their superiority, the elephants calmly go on their way. They can hardly imagine that a much greater danger than all the tigers in the region is hovering over their species. India has a population of more than one billion people, and most of them live below the poverty line. With no more resources than the nature that surrounds them, the peasants fell the trees, cut down the grass, and burned the land to squeeze out a little land to farm. Most of these croplands are rudimentary and unsustainable. So after two or three harvests, the soil is spent, and the peasants have to repeat the process of slashing and burning to grab some more land. The populations that surround the last remaining wildlife refuges rely on nature for their daily subsistence. They poach, cut down the grasses that feed the wild herbivores, fell trees for firewood to cook and heat their homes, and sooner or later, some anonymous person ends up torching an area, so it will be discarded as protected land and people will be allowed to begin farming it. As a consequence, India's last remaining jungles are disappearing. And with them, the habitats of hundreds of threatened species, especially those that need the most land, food, and space in general. In the family of our mother and calf, they all fear men. Every time they leave the park and wander into the croplands, the men chase them and try to kill them. Their old migration routes have been cut. The park has become a green island surrounded by human settlements.